This is one of these awesome days and uh, Larry HDFX H asked me to test some more meters so let's quickly put a heater outside and uh, put this temporary test rig out to test the I-14. Just gonna do a dial check against one of these meters. This is one of these electronic meters with a strange decimal wheel which has like an hourglass in there so I'll wait till that lines off. Nearly there, that's about uh, not sure what the decimal is, and then we have a look at this I-14 here and I'll put the camera on the tripod shortly, it's going pretty fast. It's the beauty of these winter days, the sunlight is just gorgeous. I-14, 5 ampere, KH is 0.6, um, so the meter has 1666 revolutions per kilowatt hour. So it's running a bit on overload, but it should be able to handle that. Just gonna take the lid off, and we want to reel the insides. That is uh, very nice. I will stop the meter briefly to show the KH uh, reading. It's on the disc, and uh, let's see if we can get the number visible. It should be 0 0.6. Energize the meter again and then I'll put the camera on the tripod. Again, beautiful register, nice brass gear reels, worm drives. It's really well made, beautiful. It's a bit of wobble in the disc, but it's not banking into the magnet, so it's. Uh, Looks actually quite cool. The hourglass on the check meter is uh, full now, so it should flick over and then I'll do the start of the dial test. Well, the reading is now 1882 exactly, which lines up with. Uh, that's 0 0.9, 0 0.92, because the number is just about to flick over. So let's run for we will and see how the accuracy goes. Okay, it's point zero now. Click. Yeah, let's move from 2 to 2.1. It seems to be in step at the moment. The longer the test, the more accuracy you obtain, of course. This beautiful meter. Uh, the meter is probably from uh, early 1900. Show a photo of the nameplate. So I've got this setup here, like this. Got the check meter here, the electronic check meter, and the lid is there. And I just got a two kilowatt heater sitting here outside, heating up there outside. Well, the sun is about to disappear very shortly. Okay, that's clicking away. I'm going to retire the meter to the inside of the house because it's getting the sun is dropping down shortly and. Uh, I'd rather have the heater going inside, heating up my place, than heating out the outside deck. So I'll take your viewers inside and we'll continue this story from there. Like, Look at this cat. Ali, push, push. Lower. You're beautiful. You can get your radiator here. Yeah. Party 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 was such a disappointment. It's win with a trio or go home losers. Well, aside from that, oh, she's my so office, nice. although she makes me refer to her as my executive assistant. She likes that title much better. Do you feel like you can be stern without being difficult? Ali is checking the meters. We all know that on a cold night we lose body heat through. Is it your ceiling? 
We need our cat, she loves me, that's this cat. And we check here, this is sitting on uh, point 0.8, point 0.9, while the meter is almost on the 5 exactly. Ali, what's this? Kia ora, to celebrate the start of Māori Language Week, it's been pretty... Meter spinning. 3.9. And we've got a whack tux here. Still there. And we've got another whack tux here. Missy, push push. Both enjoying the meters and the heat from the heater. This is the current reading, uh, what's it, uh, 1890. Well, this is a day later, today the 4th of July. And uh, I-14 has recorded 30 units. While the check meter has recorded 29 units at the moment. Which means the meter is running actually a little bit fast, about 3%. Not too much to worry, considering it's quite an old meter. Done actually quite well. So, yes. Not like a slow running meter, which a lot of people always say. Old meters run slow, so it's probably... Uh, weakening of the braking magnets have occurred a little bit, but yeah, can't really complain there, so it's uh, very good. I'll run the check meter up to 30 and then we'll have an exact look at the dial. Nice sunset in between the metering video. Okay, we're just about to turn off. The counter is on 424.9. The meter has gone up to 1913, so it uses about one unit too much. And we do a calculation and work out the metering error on the device. I'm just about ready. Ah, the heater stops. Bloody thing. Well, well let's stop here for now. That will do. And I'll check the other meter. The test meter is a 424.9. And I try to avoid a reading parallax, but the I-14 sits on 3, more or less on 3, just a little bit over 3.05, I would say. So the total uh, reading, we're just going to work that out quickly. So at the end waffle, these were the readings obtained, so the meter the check meter advanced from 394.9 to 424.9 while the I-19 went up uh, from uh, 1882.0 to 1913.05 it means basically the I-14 measured 31 units the test standard measured 30 so a simple calculation gives us an error of 3.3% so yeah um, I'm gonna put this video up now, so uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Very good for an old uh, meter. I'll just give a quick shot of the back plate of the meter. Well, I'll take the meter of the plateau. I'll do that shortly. This is quite interesting, the old uh, metering uh, certification dates. Oh, yeah, that's the degree of the meter. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.